Hello, you guys. I'm home. And I'm not gonna lie. One, I feel like a freaking hot mess. And two, I don't know how I feel about my vlogging skills on this trip. I wanted to be present, so I have a lot of montage clips. So I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna do like a voiceover, like recap, or if I'm just gonna do like montage, put it to some music, call it a day. TBD. Although you guys will probably be seeing this in this video, whatever I decide. Um, but we are home. I've been up since like 2.30. Couldn't sleep. And we had to get up early anyway. Um, so I am very tired. I only took like a, I don't even know if it was 20 minute nap on the plane. But I'm also kind of stressed, which is mostly why I feel like a hot mess. A hot mess because I knew I was coming home to a very busy schedule and I didn't really realize how kind of chaotic today especially is going to be. Um, I feel like I've sounded so like complaining in the last couple vlogs, but um, so based so we, I literally have 30 minutes. I'm going to put on some makeup because I have an event just like that I have to just stop by at later today. Um, but we have an ultrasound at one, so we have to leave in another like 30-ish minutes. Um, and then from there we have to go pick up our dogs which is like other end of town come home drop them off i have to go to this event other side of town um for a client and just get some content um then i can come home and like chill for the day um and get my poop in a group for tomorrow because tomorrow i have more doctor's appointments well i have a, I have a baby appointment in the morning which is my glucose test <laughs> Not looking forward to that. And then I have a chiropractor appointment. And then I have like the afternoon pretty open, but I do have to run to the office and I have a rehearsal tomorrow night. Jonathan works. Um, and I have to do some a little bit of work, not a ton, but just a little bit of work um, in between all that. And then Saturday's a wedding day. So just whew, whirlwind, but then I get Two, week, two more weeks off from weddings um, before I pick up for my longest stretch of weddings before I'm done for the season. Um, so anyway, all good things. It's just like I did not even realize how chaotic today was going to be, um, but it's all good. The trip was so, so good. Lots of family time. Just that's all it was. We literally didn't do anything crazy hung out with family. I mean, Jonathan has a huge family. And we also saw my brother and sister-in-law in Houston. And it was just a very like cozy, family-oriented trip, which was great. So, but we are home. Gonna throw on some makeup and gonna go to our growth scan for little girl. Um, we are, the reason we're having this ultrasound is because my blood pressure Sorry, figure I should get started on my makeup. <laughs> my blood pressure was a little bit elevated at my last appointment. And my doctor just wanted to play it safe. And, oh gosh, I'm like in between all of these foundation shades. We're going to have to do a little mixer rooney here. Um, so she just wanted to do some extra... Um, monitoring just to be safe which i greatly appreciate um and so we're gonna see how she's doing she was measuring 25th percentile last time which is not tiny but it's not not big by any means um so i'm curious we are very curious to see how big she is um i've mentioned this before but i was a very small baby i was also very premature but even for my gestational age I was very small um Jonathan was not he was the biggest biggest baby in his, of all the eight kids in his family so um she's definitely taken after her mama thus far but we'll see where she's at and hoping everything is good obviously um honestly you guys I'm really nervous about going into labor early or having to get like induced or like c-section because I just want to get through my weddings. I have weddings through October 12th and I'm like really, really hoping that I am able to 
be present, be there for those weddings. Um, after that, I am like fair game. I do not care when I go into labor after the weddings. I'm literally saying I, if I go into labor October 12th at 9 p.m., perfect. Because I finished my, <laughs> my last wedding is on October 12th. So, um, but you guys, I need my eyebrows done so bad, but I'm just waiting for this week to go get them threaded from my girl. I really should have let this down. Like you said, like I said, you guys, I'm a hot mess. Um, but anyway, so that is a scoop. And then while I'm there, I need to like have them remind me like what I need to do because tomorrow is my um, gestational diabetes test. And I'm pretty sure I can't eat before it, which my appointment's in the morning. So that's maybe helps a little bit. Um, but <clears throat> I want to see if they have the fresh test as an option for the drink instead of the, um, whatever it's called, the typical, the typical one. So we will see with that what they have as an option. But anyway, that's tomorrow. I'm not trying not to like think about it too much because it's going to be what it's going to be. And, um, I would just rather not like stress a whole bunch about it and like get all worked up. I am like a little nervous because your girl does not do well with sugary drinks. So, and I'm going by myself. Like normally Jonathan comes to all my appointments, but he has to work and his schedule changed. Like when I booked this appointment, it was different. So, um, or we had to, we had to change this appointment actually is what it was. So, um, anyway, he's not able to come to this one. So I'm just going to be feeling miserable by myself if that's the case, but I've heard most people say it's not that bad. So hopefully we're good to go. I should ask if I can take nausea meds beforehand. I feel like that wouldn't affect anything, but anyway. Um, okay. So that's like, that's the rest of this week. Very busy. Um, as per usual coming back from a trip but especially when I'm coming back and going right into a wedding weekend so and throwing baby appointments on top of it so anyway gonna finish my, finish my makeup and head to see baby girl I'm actually very excited okay a little bit of makeup done kind of refreshed the hair aka took the scrunchie out and put it in a ponytail <laughs> And we got about 15 minutes before we leave, so we're gonna go bring some stuff downstairs, head to check on little girl. So crazy. I will be 28 weeks in two days. Third trimester. She's here. car before I head to my client's event really quick um, but had our ultrasound picked up the girls came home brushed all the girls because they are shedding so bad and I figured I'd go over our ultrasound with you very briefly um yeah we no longer have a little peanut on our hands we have a 94th percentile little chunk so not sure what's in the water I've been drinking in the last month. Well, it's been more than a month. It's been almost eight weeks, almost two months since our anatomy scan. But holy crap, the ultrasound tech was like, yeah, how was she measuring last time? And I was like, um, she was on the smaller end. She's 25th percentile overall. And she goes, okay, well, her abdomen is in the, in the 90th percentile. I'm like, oh, okay. And then she's like, and her head is in like the 94th percentile. So I think she, she, I forget if it was 90, 90th or 94th percentile overall, but I was like, okay, that's a, that's makes me nervous. She already weighs more allegedly now at 20, 
almost 28 weeks as I did when I was born at roughly 32-ish weeks, which is, <laughs> makes me nervous. Also, I don't know if there's a direct correlation, but it also makes me concerned about gestational diabetes, which we'll find out tomorrow. Well, I don't know if I'll find out tomorrow. It's tomorrow's Friday. And my, my appointment's in the morning. And I'm curious if it'll get uploaded to my chart right away. Um, but anyway, we got the cutest 3D pictures. Even the Ultron Tech was like, oh my gosh, we never get a, this good of a profile, like side profile and like 3D pictures. We usually don't get the, like these good of pictures at this age. And she was active too. She got the hiccups. She was kicking around. She's like, oh my gosh, she is like active. It's crazy girl in there so uh yeah here I was thinking I had a little peanut and <laughs> that is no longer the case so we will see what uh the doctor says but at least there's no growth restriction to worry about that's for sure um holy crap we might have a big big girl on our hands but she's like filling out like you can see her face is like filling out she looks so cute I'll insert the picture um, but I'm just like, she looks like a real baby, even though like she's still very early, like she looks like a real healthy baby and it's just so cute. I know everyone thinks her baby's so cute, but I was like shocked by how like normal she looked in this 3D picture. I'm just like, oh, so cute. So anyway, happy appointment for the most part, a little like, I'm like a little concerned, like should I be concerned? I don't know, but I'm glad she's... She is growing. She is, she's pushing the limits, let me tell you. So anyway, now I'm off to my client's event. They're having their grand opening. They're a functional, like a functional health clinic um, here in Sioux Falls. And it's my personal functional health doctor. And um, that sounds so weird to say that, but functional, functional medicine doctor. Yeah. Um, so it's their grand opening and I'm going to go get some content for them and just stop by. Um, I'm probably going to be a little early. I'm going to be like 15 minutes early, which is like perfect. Cause I want to get some clips with like not really anybody there of like details. And then I want to get like some clips of people interacting and then they're having a ribbon cutting at 4:30. It's currently 3:30, So, um, I think that'll be perfect. And then after the ribbon cutting, I'll just head out. So, um, yeah. That is the plan, and then I'll be home for the night. We'll make dinner, and I'm feeling an early bedtime. I'm probably gonna go to bed with Jonathan when he goes to bed at like 7.38, because 2 a.m. or 2.30 a.m. was a long time ago. And I've got lots going on tomorrow, so that is the scoop, and I will check with you guys later. anymore it's so weird even though this is where I start every single day um, I'm just my room just make my bed but I quick got ready for the day I have a busy day today it is Friday um, but most importantly it is the day of my gestational diabetes test my glucose screening can't wait um, so I have that at 10 um, I'm assuming Jonathan's probably gonna come shortly and pick me up. He took the car. He had to work at four this morning. So, um, he's already been at work, but glucose screening is today. The one hour. Um, I'm starving. Actually, I woke up hungry at three 30 when he was getting ready for work, but now I'm okay. But I just, I'm like so thirsty. So I want to drink a bunch of water, which that's the only thing I can have. <laughs> but I was like thinking, I was like, Oh my gosh, I have I'm, I'm like, you know, I have time. I can do all these things. I'm like, I realized so much of my morning routine revolves around eating or drinking coffee. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna kind of be twiddling my thumbs, but I'm trying to decide if I should bring my computer, if it's worth bringing my laptop for an hour. I don't know. 
um, I'll have a few hours to work this afternoon. So I think I might just bring my phone and just chill on my phone for an hour. But anyway, that is today. Um, and then I have a chiropractor appointment immediately following. So I literally have to go like right from appointment to appointment. And this, that appointment's like 20, 25 minutes away. So, um, I was talking to one of my friends who just had a baby and she's like, literally pack a lunch because you are not going to feel good after. And, um, I was like, I honestly believe you and actually that's genius. So I think I'm going to go pack a little, like, I don't know. We don't have much in the house right now for like packable stuff, but I think I'm just gonna pack like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, like a cheese stick. I don't even know what else we have. Probably some of that like nut snack mix from Costco. Um, we don't have any fruit in the house. I don't think, um, so yeah, just some quick stuff to throw in because yeah, not only have I not eaten since before I went to bed last night, but I'm, I'm not going to eat until like 1130 or noon. Plus on top of that, I have the glucose drink in me and that's it. So it's like, I'm sure I'm probably not going to feel that great and I'm going to want to eat. So, um, which is only a pregnancy thing. Like any other time if my stomach hurt, I would not be eating, but Anyway, we'll see. Maybe it'll be fine. Because one of the gals, I ran into one of my former clients at the event yesterday, and she, I was talking to her about it, and she's like, oh, it was totally fine. Like, it was not a big deal at all. Um, so, fingers crossed, it's fine. I know, like, everybody gets a little worked up about this test, but most people say it's fine. So, that's what, that's what we're hoping for. But anyway, then I have a chiropractor appointment after this appointment. Um... And then I'm gonna come home and work for a few hours before I need to head to the office to grab some stuff for my wedding tomorrow. And then I have a rehearsal tonight at five and then a wedding day tomorrow. So busy Friday. Um, thankfully I don't have a ton of work to get done. Just kind of um, getting ahead for a client for my maternity leave. So editing her podcast, um, we are get working ahead. So, um, and then I have to put, oh yeah, I forgot. I just booked two weddings. So I have to get those drives together. Um, just like, a, it's not a ton of stuff. It'll just be pretty quick, but that is the day. Also, we got our ultrasound reading, um, from the doctor at like super early this morning. I was awake when the notification came through. So I looked at it. Yeah, no, she's not 94. She's 96 percentile. So they noted that like, we're going to have to have another ultrasound at our next appointment because she is measuring very large. So that's fun. But again, I'll take all the ultrasounds because she's so darn cute. I love seeing her on the screen. Like she looks like a real normal baby right now. Like she's not like as alien-y looking, you know? So that is like super fun seeing her and um, it makes it feel a little more real, but also like how the heck is this creature just living? just chilling every day in there, you know? <laughs> so anyway, all right, that is the little update this morning. Um, I'm gonna go drink more water because I'm thirsty and pack a little lunch and just hope that this appointment goes well. Okay, just drink the drink with my nurse. Not bad at all, not bad. It was, you could have fooled me and told me it was Hawaiian punch. It was fine. But now I wait an hour and let's see how we do. Also, my blood pressure was lower than it's been in a long time. It was 120, 123 over 83. So, not terrible, not great either. I also got my tetanus shot. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're all done. I feel totally fine. Like I'm hungry, but we already knew that. Um, so they wanted to run. Okay, so little little background on this appointment. I didn't meet with my normal OB. I don't think I said that. Um, she there was some scheduling issues. We had to move this appointment around a couple of times. Um, I think she's just gone. I think she's on vacation or something. Um, but. The OB that I did meet with was, um, she wanted to just run some baseline labs just because again, I've been having some high blood pressure. Um, I was a preeclampsia baby, which puts me at risk. Um, you know, just the swelling, just all kinds of things. Um, so 
I did a bunch more blood work, urine, urine analysis, um, to check for preeclampsia and the blood draw for glucose screening. So, um, got a bunch of blood drawn, got my updated tetanus shot, um, which I did not realize also helps with whooping cough in babies. Um, so anyway, I got that and, um, did all the labs. So, uh, we will find out, I'm guessing later today or Monday about the glucose test. Um, I mean, it's just a blood test. So usually that comes in pretty quick, but just to be, you know, I'm not getting my hopes up that I'll find out today and it's cause it's Friday. Um, although some, I don't know, sometimes do I get them on the weekends? Sometimes the, the way the labs results come through, it's like, it's in, very interesting. But anyway, um, we'll find out about that. And then I did have to schedule another growth scan ultrasound for the 29th or 28th. Um, so end of the month, just to see where we're, where we're at. Um, my OB, the OB also said it's actually pretty normal during this time for babies to fluctuate a lot. That is a very large fluctuation with the percentile that came through on the ultrasound, but she's like, you know, I wouldn't be too concerned about it yet. Um, because a lot can still happen in these next few weeks. But my next appointment will be my 32 week appointment. And then I think after that we drop down to every two weeks. I think I got to check. I have, I've had all my appointments scheduled out since like 16 weeks. So I don't even remember like when, when I have all these appointments, but, um, we got it all sound scheduled and we'll go from there. So honestly, not a bad morning and I'm gonna start eating my little lunch and moseying on over to my chiropractor's office have an adjustment and then I have to come all the way back here to pick up Jonathan from work and then gonna go home and work for a few hours um, get some stuff done and then I have a rehearsal so that's that is gonna be the day all right you guys I already have my gestational diabetes screening I failed I'm not surprised so my levels were 163 and normal range is 70 to 135 so I feel like that's pretty pretty high um, I'm not surprised I some of you guys I feel like you're taking this way too lightly but like I honestly after our ultrasound yesterday and just like the way that things have been going I am not at all shocked by this like this is not <clears throat> not surprising to me um so now they're recommending that I do the three hour glucose test my team hasn't like reviewed it yet this literally just got uploaded to my chart so I don't know if all health systems do that but you basically have like an online portal where all of your test results get uploaded um digitally and like ultrasound stuff and like all that so I see this before anyone else has really seen it um but not really shocked honestly um it's it sucks it's me it means I'm gonna have to like just prick my finger all the time and change my diet a little bit probably I mean for the most part I don't have a terrible diet but we were just traveling so that didn't help either um, but it is what it is I know that there's truly no way you can control like it's not my fault that I have gestational diabetes and I think that's the biggest thing um, that I just need to tell myself like is it disappointing yeah it does it suck that I am gonna have to prick my finger probably twice a day um, yes but honestly I it's not the end of the world it's okay I'm just glad that I have a healthcare team that knows how to handle this it's just a part of pregnancy and we'll see what they say as far as next steps so not shocked at all honestly um we'll see what uh what we get to do next though and now all the other test results get to come in which i always like just seeing these test results um i don't even know i don't even remember what all we tested for but it's just interesting seeing like all of the all of the data is that the right term all right, going to head into my chiropractor appointment about 15 minutes early. They are busy today. I forget it's Friday. I usually don't schedule appointments for Fridays, but because we were just coming back from a trip and we're trying to line up appointments with my baby appointments. So chiropractor and baby just knock them out all at once. But all right, let's go into the chiropractor. All right, you guys, we're back from all the appointments. 
had some lunch, did a little bit of work. Um, you can't go out right now. No, not right now. Jonathan is moving, <laughs> moving some stuff from the garage to the side yard um, so that we can start working on the floors, epoxying the floors. Um, I feel like I've been talking about epoxying these dang floors for weeks, but um, so the girls hear him moving the snowblower and they want to go outside. But anyway, I'm going to go help him move some stuff. Um, oh, actually, before I do that, let's unbox kind of a boring package, but it's the last, it's the last of the Amazon Prime items to come in and it came in while we were gone. So, so let's do that. Go put it in its place and then we'll go help Jonathan work on the garage because I'm worried if I sit down to work, I'm gonna fall asleep because I had a hardcore sugar, I'm like having a hardcore sugar crash from that drink. And I just don't, I have time to nap really, honestly. Um, I could maybe take like a little 20 minute couch power nap, but um, I'm worried it'll make me feel worse. So I need to be like on my game for the rehearsal tonight. So um, I just wanna like be doing like active stuff versus like sitting at my computer. So I'm gonna save these podcasts, I think for maybe like Sunday. Um, Cause that's something I can just do like relaxing on the couch, recovering from wedding stuff, you know, that'll be fine. I could do it in bed maybe. Um, I just, I don't wanna get sleepy and I'm sleepy. So let's unbox this package. All right, stairs. We're pregnant. Not easy. Um, okay, so what this box is. I'm gonna need scissors. It's part of the open already. Um, is another faux olive tree. <sighs> exactly, well, it should be exactly like. The other one that I have a, currently in the nursery, it was by my office, but um, basically I've just been like moving it around between the nursery, my office, and our master bedroom since I got it. So I was like, okay, I think I just need to get another one. And they're, I think they were on sale for Prime Day. So that's what we did. And basically, with us being nearing the time to be welcoming our first baby, I have a feeling that we're gonna be spending a lot of time in this room, our primary bedroom. And it's very depressing to me right now because everything is white. Our furniture is white besides our bed frame. Um, our bedding is white besides like the tote cover and just like the walls are white, everything's white. And I wanna add like color so I want to get a big piece of artwork to go sorry I'm trying to motion so you guys can see in between here um I just haven't found one that like speaks to me yet although I did find one at Hobby Lobby it's not like my favorite but it caught my attention and it was like 40 bucks on sale and for a framed piece of art that size that's pretty unheard of so I've been debating going back and getting that um but we'll see on that one but I just need to add more color in here because we're not at a place where we can afford to invest in furniture for in here or we could but I just I want to get stuff that I'm going to like for a long time and that stuff is not cheap so I found a dresser that I loved it's like 1500 bucks and I'm like that's just not we're just not in a place to do that right now with a baby coming and house projects to finish and things like that. So I'm like, you know what, adding in some artwork, I feel like is the next best thing, adding in this olive tree, just like a little bit of color um, to liven it up in here. And then all of that's gonna change when we get our lovely baby stuff in here. Oh, I am gonna need scissors, okay. Please hold, gotta grab scissors. Okay, so anyway, that is the plan for this bedroom for now. And I keep saying this, but it bears repeating. Um, I don't anticipate us being in this house for more than another like year or two. So that throws a whole other like side to things. Um, are you moving stuff? Yeah. Oh, so anyway.
So it just comes with this little, you know, teeny black pot. Also, the pot that I'm putting it in is very non-proportionate <laughs> to this tree. Um, but I had it so, and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So that's what we do. Okay, so this tree, all you do is well, take that off. There's like a little safety guard thing. And because this is a seven foot olive tree. So obviously that'd be an obnoxiously tall package and skinny package. And then you just put the two pieces together and take off the little instructional sticker. And there you have it. And then I zhuzh, you know, bend out the branches. They're, they're kind of flexible, not like super bendy, but just to kind of fill it out a little bit. And this does have like the real olives on it and stuff. So kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I really like it. And I figured since I was moving it around so much, it was time to get one for our room. So I'm going to find the pot. Then I'm going to put it in this corner back here. Nothing too exciting, but figured I'd show you guys. Here she is in all her glory. Um, yeah, just added a little something, and then I feel like with a piece of artwork with maybe a little greenery tied in, will be perfect because the rest of this room is gonna be taken over by baby stuff. Even this corner, like bassinet will go here, probably like a diaper cart, postpartum pumping cart will go here, changing table on the dresser. <laughs> like This room is gonna be baby, a baby room, because she's gonna be in here with us for a while. But anyway, for now, I like that it adds a little, a little something. And then I used to have a floor length mirror that I would put here right now. It's in the nursery. Again, we'll move it. I just need to figure out a good spot to put it. Honestly, it'll probably go right here where I have this hanging rack currently because all that does is collect clothes that need to be put away. So, um, but for now, oh, also that's the corner where we put our Christmas tree. Did we do that last year? No, we had that in our guest room. Right, how many Christmas trees? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I think I only have four Christmas trees. I could be wrong. One, two, three, four, I think. Anyway, one year we put a six foot Christmas tree in that corner and it was like so perfect, so vibey at night. But again, with a baby, probably won't be having a Christmas tree on that much in here because if we're in here it's at night it's bedtime you know so anyway random thought of the day but um okay so that's our little little bedroom update cute little olive tree love her we love her okay gonna go move stuff out of the garage now did i show you guys the flowers that my dad picked for garden while we're gone i don't know if i did they're so pretty so um, while we were gone, we were supposed to get some storms and like tornadoes, 80 mile per hour winds, tennis ball sized hail. So I was like, if there's any blooms worth cutting, could you cut some of them just so that I get to savor them a little more in case the wind and stuff destroyed them. So we've got two different kinds of dahlias. I'm so, I love these ones so much. They're like a sunset, like pinky orange, um, pink or purple cone flowers, which that's the, all the coneflowers I'm gonna get there. That plant is dead, dead, dead. And then white coneflowers, which I have a lot of those. Jeez, oh, my hair is catching on this. Then these tall ones are gladiolas. So I've got like a white and pink kind and then a dark purple variety and a couple white zinnias in there too, which my zinnias are starting to come in. And finally the beetles are leaving my zinnias alone, but now they're attacking my dahlias so hate that for me but we did spray some organic pesticide on there so we'll see it wasn't working too well yesterday but anyway lovely little bouquet from our garden which is just so fun so love that i don't remember if i showed you guys that yesterday i don't think i did okay um actually i know i didn't because we just got back yesterday so anyway all right jonathan's in the bathroom but then we're gonna go I mean, it's like a workout, so I guess it's okay. 
love that for me. <laughs> much much later I had my rehearsal it went super well it's gonna be it's in such a pretty spot on the golf course um, it's gonna be warm but it's gonna be really really pretty so gosh sorry the glare on my glasses is awful um, it's about 8 30 right now new girl is going to bed <laughs> um, I'm so tired I think it's even though I got like 11 hours of sleep last night I think that glucose drink just messed me up um, I am very, very tired, but better to go to bed early, get a full night's sleep before a full busy wedding day tomorrow, so I'm all for it. I am going to head to bed and hopefully check in with you guys tomorrow for wedding day. Good morning, friends. It is Saturday and it is a wedding day, so, um, it is 7.30, we're up and at them, got a great night's sleep, I slept from like probably fell asleep around nine ish nine until 6 30 and now it's time to start with the day so um i am actually very excited for my breakfast this morning because it's been so long since i've had my eggs for breakfast and just like my normal routine so making breakfast gonna make some coffee because so i can hopefully chill and make iced coffee before i have to leave um We'll see. It might be like lukewarm coffee, which is gross. But I should have made this last night. A pot of it last night. Actually, did John get my dinner? No. Okay. We are like bare bones in our fridge right now. It's a lot of like breakfasty stuff and <laughs> condiments, per usual. But gonna make some breakfast, gonna make some coffee, and then we're gonna get started on our day. It's going to be very hot today. It was very hot yesterday for ceremony or for uh, rehearsal. Um, but. I'm really excited for this wedding. Um, let's see, I've been working with this bride. I feel like it's been over a year. Um, and I'm really excited for the design element that she's incorporating the florals, all that. So very, very excited. So let's get started with the day. And I just shattered my coffee pot with the coffee in it. It looks like I'll be going to Starbucks today. So that's fun for me. Let's hope I can order an extra pot for my maker that freaking sucks um i was putting in these i don't know what you call them like the steel ice balls from like the for like whiskey drinks because my husband drinks whiskey and i don't know if it was the temperature or like the dropping like i dropped one on top of another of the other that shattered it so love that for me so let's clean up this mess i also got it all over my freaking white tennis shoes which i always i get i always spill coffee on these shoes my hokas every time i wear them i get coffee on them it's ridiculous anyway happy saturday all right got her all cleaned up that was humbling oh i missed some under my water bottle um that was a mess holy cow um but sitting down to eat my eggs and a bagel with peanut butter and then Jonathan's gonna be leaving work in like five minutes so I'm not gonna have time to do literally anything else but so it goes um, on days like this so I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then we're gonna head off to the wedding mm -hmm.
guys, it is 9.45. Just got home from my wedding. I didn't really show you guys the fit. The pump is pumping. 96th percentile, baby. <laughs> um, but today was such a good day, such a good wedding. I had so much fun. Um, great vendor team, great couple, just the best. But I am sore, my feet hurt. I'm not like tired, like I'm not ready to go to bed yet, but I need to, I wanna like shower. It was like night, I didn't even see what the final temperature was. It had to be in the 90s today, it was really hot. Lots of moving parts today, outdoor ceremony. Um, so I am like sweaty, <laughs> and just ready to get cleaned up and just relax for the evening, so.